Now right, let's pull up the newest Channel 5. I've heard really good things about it. Uh, Andrew Callahan in Ukraine. How are you doing today? In Ukraine, I believe. War in Ukraine. Here's our ongoing coverage. Our coverage of the ongoing war in Ukraine. It begins in the western city of Lviv. Features interviews with the city's mayor as well as... <gasps> as well as Jake Hanrahan of Popular Front. I caught Jake Hanrahan helping raise money for an organization that's beloved by neo-Nazis. Well, that's unfair. They're, they're actual Nazis uh, in Ukraine. So that's interesting. I'm fine. I'm not at home. Uh, I came from Kiev. I really want to go home, but uh, I think it won't be safe for my daughter. So we will stay somewhere here and just wait. What do you miss most about home? My ordinary life, you know, just to drink some coffee in my favorite uh, cafe and uh, to bring my daughter to the kindergarten, just normal stuff. It will never be the same as it was. Every time the siren is here, I just tell her that it's fireworks. So we need to hide because she's like five years old and uh, I don't want for her to have a trauma. Just fireworks? Yeah, just fireworks. Loud fireworks. Yeah. We never know uh, in, in what time Russia will send missiles or rockets to our territory. Uh, air attack could be launched on Lviv. So now we need to go to find the nearest shelter just to hide. We're going to a shelter now in the uh, press building. That was uh, genuinely pretty fucking uh, terrifying. Each time it's really scary, uh, especially at the night when anyone tried to chill and sleep. Welcome in, make it the picky. It is a special time for me, for my city, for my country. Last month, three times, Russia aggressor attack uh, city Lviv. Officials in the western Ukrainian city of Lviv say Russian missile strikes hit a fuel storage facility on the outskirts of the city. We could see dark plumes of smoke rising into the sky. For me, Putin equal Hitler. A Russian aggressor attack Ukrainian cities every day. Global outrage grew today as more horrific revelations surface from Russia you today? and Ukraine. I want to warn you that the images we are about to Morning. show you and even the descriptions of them are graphic, disturbing, but they are the devastating reality of Putin's war on the people of Ukraine. The town's mayor saying at least 20 innocent civilians were shot in the back of the head and that several hundred civilians. By the way, I can't show you this is graphic footage, but uh, those clips some of them have a little Radio Free Europe logo in the corner. ...are buried in the once peaceful commuter town's mass grave. Basically a load of the Russian troops that are around. Jake Hanrahan. There he is. He just helped raise money for Nazis. He helped raise money for Nazis. And uh, I'll show you. Uh, I don't have the video handy. It's in my post history. But Jake Hanrahan posted a video uh, back in February saying, hey, we're going to sell these T-shirts for the next 24 hours. All profits going to Ukraine charity um, United Help Ukraine. He says they provide medical aid and humanitarian relief to civilians on the front lines. Um, I don't have the link handy right now, but <sighs> Ukraine, uh, United Help Ukraine is an organization that has posted thank you notes from a bunch of different organizations and people that allegedly they've given support to. Some of the thank you notes uh, were, were sent from the Azov Battalion. who are literal Nazis. Okay? 
He sent that group, beloved by Nazis, $5,300, and then blocked me when I told him about it, and then deleted the tweet. Am I right about this? Here, here's his initial tweet about it, and then he deleted the tweet where he, where he posted the evidence he made a little video. He made a little video of him like going to the 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 website and like sending them fifty three hundred dollars, sending money to a war zone to an organization beloved by Nazis, Jake Hanrahan. When I called him out on it, he blocked me. Jake founded Popular Front. The word front should have tipped you off, everybody. Now. Andrew Callahan is interviewing him right now. Uh, I was hoping this would be a good piece, but I didn't know Jake Hanrahan was in this. Like Kiev Oblast, the region on the front lines there, they've pulled back. For the first time, a lot of the Ukrainian troops have like properly moved in there. To Jake is one of those strange reporters who loves hanging out with reactionaries. See like what's happened, and they're just finding like mass grave. These, this guy is sus as fuck, dude. This guy's sus as fuck, but like... Shit. But like he's on channel five, like I I I heard good things about this piece, but it's not that good. Braves, over four hundred probably civilians, Can't you know, show old you this. people, young people. They're finding loads of images of people with their hands tied behind their back, dead in the street. It's like it's probably an execution, right? So it's looking like there was a massacre. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. Uh, all world must. I don't think I don't think Andrew has any idea. This is why maybe you shouldn't get involved in geopolitics if you have no fucking idea what you're doing. I'm scared that Andrew has no fucking clue what he's doing. Isolate Russia. He always interviews loathsome people. That's part of his shtick. But this video is not his shtick. This video is outside of his normal shtick. He wasn't interviewing Jake Hanrahan because he's a loathsome person. Next, that's what's different about this. Years. Russia, it is Nazi country. Russia is the Nazi country, not the country where um, Jake Hanrahan is sending money to organizations beloved by actual Nazis. See, this is what they do. This is literal projection. It's just Nazi projection. They're willing to work with actual Nazis because they think that the Russians are Nazis. Okay, hold on. If working with Nazis does not present an existential threat to you, you might not really have a good handle on what is and what isn't a Nazi. You might actually be one. Headshot. Ukrainians, расстреляем Путина. Не сором промахнутися. Сором не стрельнути. Слава Україні! Oh. Little fascist slogan right there. Slava Ukraine, yeah. Slava Ukraine! Everyone Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, Andrew. They're gonna send money to the front line. Oh no, Andrew. Andrew. How did it feel to uh, do that? Troshki na dushi stalo lešo. Ja na di kilki tsih kult paroste na stojeshi. Mi mi pobacim mozolei abu zakopanoi pit betonom. Ja na dani moment mi zaimaim se humanitarni dopomogne. Ekšo mne armija prezve zvečajno ja gotoju. Mi humanitarno pobacim tam fond. Čas si povrnej živim takos parahoim košte. I guess for you know a lot of people they can't be on the front or whatever. But this is their way of donating, this is the way of helping. Yeah, everyone is doing something, it's really interesting to see. It's like yeah. uh, a community effort, you know, across right. the whole country. Wow, man. So, uh, it was my place uh, where I usually walked after Russia invaded in Ukraine. This place closed for climbing, but it opened for taking... Yeah, it's not explicitly a fascist slogan, it's just that fascists love to say it. Is here, we are still helping them each day. Uh, do you want some question for him? Yeah, sure. 
Почнем. Як тебе звати? Кіль. Do, do you like to climb? Покуси, потім уїхай і сюди приїхай. What's your favorite animal? Mason. Mason? Yeah. So, he, he have a cat Mason, yeah. called Mason. <laughs> Is that Mason? Mason, <laughs> Mason. 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 <laughs> All right, uh, Mason's a little bit camera shy. What do you want to be when you grow oh. up? Is that a Russian blue cat? He, he, he wants to, to buy a car. <laughs> That's a Russian blue. <laughs> for, for his mother and, and uh, to himself. It's interesting. Меня зовут Ольга. Мы приехали из города Бахмут, Донецкая область. Мы с вечера собрались и уже до крайней точки Львов. Дальше в ближайшее время, а дальше посмотрим, будет видно. Would you prefer to return home or, or would you like to immigrate into a different country? Хотелось бы вернуться домой. Естественно, мы скучаем по дому. Так как развернутся все эти события, и будет ли дома, будет ли куда возвращаться, и если действительно будут какие-то сложные ситуации в плане возврата домой. А, какое-то время было спокойно в городе, потом а, какой-то день в центр города прилетело сразу несколько ракет. Я, мне стало страшно за ребенка, за себя, семью, и мы приняли решение выехать. Когда это было далеко от нас, и в комендантский час, и так далее, он видел в городе военных и военную технику. Он задавал вопросы, почему они здесь, не внедрялась в подробности, не вникала. Do you like staying here? Мне тут нравится, я тут только на канате таком, на этой... На мате. Бегал, прыгал. Good in this situation. Well, I'm glad you were able to bring Mason with you. Обязательно в любом случае мы бы не оставили его дома без присмотра. Он полноценный член нашей семьи. Кьюти! Out of the more than 4 million people who fled Ukraine, over 2.3 million are now in Poland. 14. Yeah, 14. I came off uh, Kriverich, it's the center of Ukraine. My little brother and my aunt Fortnite. came I'm to I'm sorry, Pernish Minecraft. I, I said Fortnite, but I was thinking Minecraft. It's me. Weird. And uh, I uh, like very scared because my dad uh, is in Kriverich. Yeah, it's a scary situation, very scary situation. What do you miss most about home? My friends, my four best friends in Hungary, in uh, Slovenia, in Ireland. And I haven't connect with, uh, with them. If you had to pick one friend that you wished you were with right now, which friend would it be? I think like Dima. In my school, he sit um, back for me. He's quite funny and he's like, uh, he can um, uh, smile me, um, all of them. I uh, want to hear his uh, jokes of teachers and uh, <laughs> like, uh, I, I want to usual life. Декілька днів тому приходило по шість потягів, і можна легко порахувати, що кожен потяг вміщував по дві по три тисячі осіб. What do you think is the biggest challenge the refugees face whenever they get from Ukraine to Poland? Така, що люди приїжджають в чужу державу і не можуть зорієнтуватися. Ну кожен боїться за своє життя, за своїх дітей. Дуже дивно те, що, наприклад, українці в Сільській Федерації живе коло більше п'яти мільйонів осіб всебічного освітлення цієї війни, і тому рахують in Russia, Vladimir Putin's approval rating is soaring. Um, that's an interesting statement. Despite his disastrous invasion of Ukraine, it's now above 80%. Kyiv, никто не бомбит. Я этому не верю. Путин такого не мог сделать. Media is so fucked up, dude. Every day, Russian state television accuses the West of fake news over Ukraine. One of their claims is that the bodies in these photos um, lying on the ground, these apparently dead bodies, were uh, placed there placed there by Ukrainian radicals, as they're called, or Nazis. So I think I've seen this before. What is this uh, flyer right here? 
So A3OB, Azov, Azov Battalion, it's a uh, neo-fascist battalion here in... Neo-fascist. They're, they're like, they're as Nazi as it gets. Ukraine. They've been going since the start of the revolution, so 2014. The group was known to have ties to neo-Nazi movements, and its leader ties. was even quoted once as saying Ukraine's purpose was to, quote, lead the white races of the world. To yeah. Russian President Vladimir. Finish the sentence against the Untermenschen. The subhumans. Putin, their far-right politics. That's fucking sus as fuck, y'all. A justification to claim oh that Ukraine God, needs to Look be denazified. Not to say that they're not there. They're fighting right now in Mariupol. You know they've been. Yeah, he's, he knows very well about the Nazis that are that are in Ukraine. Jack Anrahan, he knows very well about them. Basically defending that city, along with the uh, Ukraine defending Marines. Defending that city. Nazis defending the city. Um, but they make out like that's everybody, and everybody believes. No, that's not what we're doing. And it sort of thing. But the idea is that, uh, you know, you do got them, and they're able to ban left-wing parties in Ukraine, but they can't get rid of the Nazis? That's sort of interesting, isn't it, Jake Hanrahan? Why can't they get rid of the Nazis? It's almost like they need them. It's almost like Nazis aren't an existential threat to Ukrainians. Hmm, I wonder why that is. There's a real problem where people either like just deny it exists or they emphasize on it too much. And really they don't oh, have- Oh, what, what is too much, Jake? What is too much? It's like a 13 year old gave you that haircut. Much influence like politically. So, you know, when Russia was saying they're a Nazi genre, it's like, well then the, they're the worst one that ever happened because Zelensky, who was a Jew, who's some of his- Imagine how many times you hear this over and over and over and over again. If he's a Jew, why doesn't he care that he's giving arms to Nazis? Oh, but he's a Jew. Who cares, dude? He's giving arms to Nazis. You'd think he'd know better. Family died in the Holocaust under the Nazis. So what? You'd think he'd know better than, than to give arms to Nazis. He got 73% of the vote in a country of 44 million. I think what you have to do is look at Russia. So Russia has a very more, much more... Look the other way is his, is his rhetoric. More serious Nazi problem. And there's a lot of evidence... Oh, Jews might, can't be Nazis. Might I introduce you to the state of Israel? that they're connected to the FSB, Russian internal... Uh, Literally, Israel's also arming the Nazis in Ukraine, too. They're sending them Uzis. Um, is Israeli-made Uzis. Intelligence services. So they have a problem. Siren. Yeah. Should we go to a uh, shelter or something? Yeah, we should probably go to a shelter, yeah. Um, if we want to get a look at the other side of things that isn't reported as much, we could go and talk to the anarchists. They're doing aid. They're taking stuff all over Ukraine. They're not making a big noise about it, but they're doing it not just to anarchist groups, to any soldiers that need it, you know. So that's another part of this thing. Before the war, I worked as a tour guide in the History Museum. 10, 20 kilometers from Pusha Irpinia areas, I used to uh, to cycle in that areas a lot. It's fucked up. If uh, Russians uh, occupy it, they will kill off uh, every politically active uh, person, no matter of, uh, of his political views. Uh, the side which needs, uh, really needs denazifying right now, in my opinion, is Russia. Why are you know, <laughs> Nazis? <laughs> the argument is that in Ukraine, I, I literally had this argument in my Twitter mentions. Someone goes, the Ukrainians need to work with Nazis so they can defeat the worst Nazis. It's like, no. <sighs> no. <laughs> He's fighting with leftists on the front lines. If uh, the fight is lost, uh, there will be no one left. Uh, no, no, right wing, uh, left wing, uh, it will be eradicated. No, in fact, they have enough resources to this fake information on the world. So does the so does U.S. Imperial Corps? Are you kidding me? So does NATO. The Kremlin views. It's incredible, dude. This is absolutely incredible. Like watching this, you'd think. You'd think Russia. Uh, you'd think Russia were as bad a country as the United States, right? If if this is all you'd watched, you'd think like Russia was like somehow the most evil country ever, and and places like the United States are fun. Carlson's commentary as quote essential in its wartime messaging strategy. That is according to a leaked 12-page memo from a Russian government agency to the Russian media. What is this really about? Why do I hate Putin so much? Yeah, and. 
we got to remember Azov isn't the only Nazi battalion, and there are likely battalions that are, like, not officially folded. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, like, um, uh, uh, groups that are, like, officially uh, not officially folded into the uh, National Guard like the Azov Battalion is. And we got to um, we got to ask ourselves, like, how many, how many, like, uh, like fucking far right fascists, uh, groups, uh, uh, you know, armed groups do we have that are out there uh, working with the CIA? I mean, we don't have, you know, uh, we don't have Marines or, or, or Army uh, boots on the ground or whatever. But like, you know, we got these covert ops on the ground. In in fact, some of these things that we're hearing about, like Russians getting getting attacked or or or, or whatnot, like none of us would be surprised to find out that like CIA had boots on the ground and were doing these things. That's all I'm saying. Has Putin ever called me a racist? Did he manufacture a worldwide pandemic that wrecked my business and kept me indoors for two years? Is he trying to snuff out Christianity? Does he eat dogs? My God. Is he making fentanyl? These are fair questions, and the answer to all of them is no. Vladimir Putin didn't do any of that. Putin is doing the right... Yeah, I really don't respect this piece at all. Um, I don't think this is um, well thought through. I think this is just uh, out there to feed the libs. This is, this is for libs. Um, Andrew... And Channel 5 made a piece for the libs. Congrats. Right thing. He's taken out uh, the Kazarian Mafia. It's not an invasion. They can easily fake a war. So what are the most important items that you need right now? Helmets and uh, bulletproof vests, uh, certain kinds of medicine. Look at that. They need like things like sleeping bags and clothes. But what are we sending? Arms. <sighs> special thanks to Jay Canrahan. A special thanks. I'm telling you, y'all. That was cursed. That was not good. Super bad piece. Uh, it's going to be intertwining with the American right while, with Putin while the libs are the good guys who are tied to neo-fascists. Think about it. What is this? Several journalists. Hey, Ruiz Rui. Being chased by Ukrainian forces for reporting and letting people know that the guns that uh, EU, EU and US sent them are being used to kill their own civilians? You got these people who are like, oh... Russian citizens are not getting the full comprehensive view of the war because of media. It's like, they think they are? Do we think we're getting the full comprehensive view of the war here in the United States? No, we're getting imperial core propaganda. Doing nothing except pretty much saying how we gotta keep giving Nazis arms? No. Fucking no. I just can't believe that. That was absolutely bad. That was really bad, right, left, dead? Can you believe that? I couldn't believe that. I was I thought that was going to be good. I think Andrew's great, but to me this feels like they saw a major world event that had people talking and when and were like we have to go do a video there and that wasn't much other thought in uh, they didn't They didn't do the homework. Hey Jeremiah, welcome in. Ukrainian forces kill deserters and men who won't join. I mean, do we put it past Nazis to do something like that? Imagine being a leftist in Ukraine and being told that uh, you know you're you're uh, uh, you know a, a young man, you're under sixty or whatever, and you're being told you need to fight with Nazis, and if you don't, you got to somehow get out of there alive. Otherwise, the Nazis will get you and kill you. Is that what what I'm being told? Um, so really great reporting there from Andrew and Jake Hanrahan, who gladly support organizations, uh, uh, who gladly supported an organization that's beloved by actual Nazis. And then you put Jake Hanrahan on the screen and he does everything to deflect from the problem of the Nazis. He's effectively arguing that you got to work with the Nazis in order to defeat Russians. I'm sorry, who's worse than Nazis? And if Nazis are not an existential threat to you, um, you might be a Nazi. 
or you're just so fucking dumb that you don't realize that they are. All right. That's the piece. Please like and subscribe. Please uh, so share this video. Um, hit the hit the notification button. Make sure you see my videos. And uh, support on Patreon. That really helps. Three bucks a month will get you early access to all of my interviews, my sit-down interviews. All right. Love your face. Yeah.